Good morning, everybody. This is Tim Kelly. One of the little secrets I want to share with you today is, shouldn't be a secret, but it is my own personal prep for print. We have, of course, at our disposal nowadays, uh, really good screen calibrations and stuff like that, which I use. My screen is calibrated, yet there is, for me, a difference between what I see in transmission, which is the lit image on my screen and reflection, which is a print. That's completely subject to the lighting you're looking at it in. When I see it on my screen and I like it, I wanna kinda of compare it to everything I've ever made in recent history to a certain lab. Everything that you get back from your lab that looks gorgeous, perfect, take a little piece of the file you sent to them and put it on a, a Photoshop document, make yourself a clipboard of all these ones that came out great. So, next time when you're preparing an order to go out to a lab, any lab, compare your new image that you're going to send out directly next to your clipboard. And you'll see, hey, I'm actually running a little soft in my contrast, or my highlights are too bright, or my shadows are too muddy, and you can make a last minute adjustment on your file before you send it out, because you're comparing it to something that came out great at an earlier time. This is, bring it over here, uh, the clipboard we actually use. One half of it right here is for our own Canon printers. And what we put on here is snippets of images that in our opinion printed dead on perfect. We couldn't change one cc of it. So that is what we look at when we're going to, uh, we bring a new piece next to it and compare and say, well, are we too contrasty? Are our highlights blown out? Is there enough black detail? And this is the one we've made for our outside lab, which happens to be White House. These are items that have all been sent to White House and have come back spot on. So I've brought one of my um, subject images right next to the comparative swatches. And I do this with all the major prints we're making. Uh, looks to me to be just a little bit to the yellow side. Let me see if I can grab this one, put it on top. All right, and we see that. I would say flesh tone wise, it's looking just a little bit yellow. I think the uh, luminance is good, the white and the black, uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna say all I need is a quick color balance on this thing and maybe I'll just add a little blue, get some of that yellow out, and a magenta blue here, and kind of make it a better match for what I've seen here. Though the original might have been pleasing, now I know it's gonna give me excellent results from my own printer or the lab. Here's another one, which also looks good in color. Maybe it could use a little more uh, detail in the shadows, not much. I'll just do that since it's so small, we'll do it in levels. I'll just change the output a little bit on my blacks and the highlights look good, but usually on the histogram, you can tell where the white point is. And I never send anything to the lab any higher than about 247. Then I know I'll get detail in the whites. So there's that one. So if our gentleman comes back from the lab looking perfect, and it is um, indisputably good. I'll just go ahead and take a piece of him and add him to my clipboard. Just scale him in and just leave him on the board. And you don't have to be neat about it, but he just becomes the newest addition to the clipboard. And I can save that. And every time we're ready to send something off to a lab or to our printer, uh, we will compare it to this. And as you can see, you can tell the difference and make those adjustments. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you. What we're trying to do is give you another tool that you can use to assure that your quality is everything that it can be. And that's why we're bringing you these lessons. So please subscribe and stay tuned to the Master Photo Techniques with me, Tim Kelly.